I have the Salila X9 limbs with me. I'm uh, gonna be doing a review of it today. So I've tried to do some research about these limbs, the Salida X9 limbs, and there hasn't been much online resources, so I'm just gonna put this video out there so that I can help you make a better choice in your purchase decision. Okay, I'll be using them for a few training so that there's definitely gonna be like some scarf mark and I'm not gonna be like new out of the box per se. They come in this very nice limb sleeve, which is very much appreciated to protect the limbs from scratches which will be a very big concern for this limb. I'll show you why later. And with all the limbs right, I'll just come with this like foam protector. Yeah, they come with this limb tip from protector which is also a good thing to protect your limb and transporting it around basically. So okay, what do I say when uh, scratches are a bit concerned? I can see the limb is very very glossy. Okay, it has a glossy finish. So basically whatever, like for example if my fingerprint is my hand is greasy right? After a long day of shooting right? I'm gonna try to grease it. Oh, my hand's not greasy today. <laughs> Surprising my hand not greasy today. But anyways right, if it's greasy right, you can see like some handprint mark or something like that when it's like when you okay, it's very obvious when it's against the tire you can see some like grease mark but unfortunately my hands not greasy today so I can't really show it but there's definitely gonna be very obvious grease marks or like fingerprint mark if you touch your limb so that is one corner about the design you have to clean it quite often if you want it to be like very shiny or like to show it off during competition which Everybody wants to right? So that is one thing about it which I don't really like But okay, I've been shooting this limb for about 4 training We finished training take about 3 hours So I've been shooting about 12 hours with this limb already Honestly, it feels really nice to shoot with I, Okay, these limbs right, they are the Sun Leader X9 70 inch and 34 pound limbs Current effective poundage on my riser is about 30.5 to 31 pound I tried to put my friend's uh, riser limbs which is the WNS Axiom Plus limbs I'll include a photo here So it's like a wood and fiberglass limb I tried to pull it, his one is 30 pound but his effective is close to 30 pound because his limb bolt is fully punched in uh. I tried to pull it and these limbs honestly it feels a lot more smoother Like although you are putting effectively the same poundage right but this one it feels easier to pull. The overall draw cycle it feels smoother. I think in the long run, right, this will, this limb will be better for your performance compared to the WNS Axiom Plus limb, which is about the same price range. So I got this for about 120, 120. Okay, usually you can get it for 120 to 140 Sing dollars in the Singapore market. And converted to US, I'll include the pricing here. Also, I guess I can't get it out of my head. I can't can't calculate the thing out of my head. So this limb is fiberglass. Okay, the white one is fiberglass and foam core limb Eh, okay, bubble glass and foam limb I don't want the core but yeah, that's the composition of it and honestly, it feels great and compared to my previous limbs which is the pinnacle limb it's like the pinnacle ballista 10 according to the label according to the label, it's the pinnacle ballista 10 limbs and this limb is the 70, 28 pound limbs and compared to my old limbs, right it's very slim compared to my previous limb like if I put it side by side, right you can see like the size difference it's very slim Including the tip, you can compare, can compare the tip, it's super super slim. So, they are both limbs made from Chinese archery company. So, I've had a great time shooting with this limb. I, maximum I scored was about 3 tenths in the 3 tenths range in the 30m. And for this, um, I can't say the same about it uh, because my form has been shit. I've been performing not as well in my archery and my form is shit. I won't perform this as well and this is a high poundage, so naturally my score will be lower. So yeah, but honestly, it feels much easier to draw than this limb. Even it's like just like what I think it's also fiberglass and wood core, fiberglass and wood limb. So so far, it'd be good to shoot with. And I think other than that, I don't have anything to mention. But wear and tear marks, they are also shown very easily on this limb. So as you can see, right, like here, right, I've been using for four trings already, and like the wear and tear marks are already showing already. Because of like the glossy finish, it makes it more obvious in nature. So that is the cause about it. Uh. It's very glossy and the design just shows all the wear and tear marks which isn't good for a long term uh, if you're going to use it for a long term. But for me, eh, not really. Because I got to upload it in the future so I'm not really concerned about that currently. Okay, so I'm going to install these limbs on my riser and I'm going to show you guys how it... I'm going to show you guys how it... Uh, explain how it feels. How it feels when I'm going through a clicker and yeah, I'm just going to explain to you my whole whole feeling process when shooting these limbs. Another thing to mention about the con right is that I mean, I'm not sure whether it's like a normal thing per se but um, there have been like some white marks that are showing up on the limb itself. 
Okay, can you? I'm not really sure can you can see it now. But there are some white marks on the limbs. I will circle them on the. I'll circle them when editing if I do see them in the video. But there are like some white marks on the limb, especially in the black part, in the black part of the limb. I'm not sure whether this is normal, whether it's like a manufacturing defect or anything, or whether it's like not a manufacturing defect, like they, see, they saw that and they pass it through the quality inspection still, but I'm not really sure whether that's the case. But so far, I haven't had any issues with this limb and I've been shooting great. So yeah, that's one concern I have in mind currently. Definitely, I'll be posting a, like a one month update on using this limb. So by then, I'll so for now, I'll take photo of it. I'll take like some photo of it and compare the before and after of the limb like whether there's more white marks showing up or not if there is then it's uh, of a greater concern if there isn't then yeah it should be much of a concern if there isn't right it's probably like some like surface level white marking or something like that so I'm hoping it's the surface marking white mark I mean surface level white marking lah but I'm not really sure you can't really tell right now so from 30 days onwards right or one month later I'll be posting an update on my, on my journey with using this limb and do check it out or like wait last thing to mention I forgot I almost forgot about this but in terms of the top like the left and right movement of the torsion top torsion torsion top okay I'll uh, include what I'm trying to say here T O R S I O N torsion I don't know how I don't know how to pronounce it but okay it does okay I'm gonna put it at the left and right movement so for the left and right movement of this limbs right it's very stable like I can see right there's very little movement left and right there's movement, but there's very little movement, left and right. So it's awesome. Compared to my own limb, you can see there's more like left and right movement on this limb itself. I've been seeing like Jake Kamisui video, and he have been have been doing like this test on like his on one of the latest video reviewing the hot axial limbs, like the limb torsion, whether it provides stability or not. And this is info that I like to add on in case if it's useful to you guys. Huh? So it's on. It feels very stable. In terms of its left and left and right movement, and yeah, I think that's a pro also lah, basically. Okay, so I have it on my so I had a new um Sanida X9 eh yeah Sanida X9 limbs. I don't know why I'm talking myself, but Sanida X9 limbs on my riser right now. You can see. So this is how it looks up on my orange riser. So it looks pretty nice, honestly. Um, I have to get used to the look uh, on my like black and orange. To be honest, the shade of black, right? I wish it like it's like a more of like a matte black and a glossy black because my riser everything is all glossy really and glossy and glossy. I don't. It doesn't fit my view like, per se. So okay, so I gotta shoot a few arrows and of course I already I already have a gist of how it feels when I'm shooting with it. So I'm just gonna shoot a few arrows and let you guys see how it. Like I'll let you guys see and hear how it sounds how it reacts when shooting so I'm just gonna give you guys this info and gas me in the body yeah, basically so I'm gonna show a few arrows and not too bad feels good feels good Okay, that I, did. I hesitated a bit with the clicker there. Like trying to click through, right? I, I hesitated a bit. That's why like you, if you see me, right, you'll probably see me like, shaking a bit on my hand. Not too bad. Okay. Uh, when. Throughout the whole draw cycle, right, I feel that overall these limbs feel pretty smooth. There's no like drastic change in poundage. Uh, drastic force in the, the force in needed to pull the string back, as compared to my friend's uh, SF Axiom Plus limbs. Like for his limb, right, I feel that in the like in the initial part of the draw cycle, right, it feels really heavy to draw through, and that is yeah, that's like a con for me, yeah. Uh. Because I want to have a limb that feels smooth throughout the whole draw cycle and especially through the clicker, smooth. And especially smooth through the clicker. And with these limbs, 
it pretty much check all of the boxes uh, for me and I also say like this is a pretty great uh, beginner limb or like a limb that you want to advance in poundage like for me I'm still advancing in poundage so I'm investing I'm not really investing a lot in my limbs yet I'm still buying cheap limbs but cheap but overall still good quality limbs as I advance my poundage like like as for me I only invest in like more higher quality limbs because yeah, actually right basically with every money that you pay right it's like a there's like a diminishing return to it so I only will get a very high end limb as I get to 42 poundage and above because that's when it's like you com you can shoot in a very competitive manner shoot 70 meters so on and so forth so for this limb 120 to 140 SGD in the Singapore market not too bad honestly and also right um, in the platform like the shopping platform I've seen or like the reviews on the shopping platform that I saw right uh, for this limb right I saw that some people reviewed the uh, Sanida X9 X8 limb too with prior experience to the Sanida X9 limbs they said he said or he or she said that the X8 and the X9 feels about the same but X8 feels in his word, snappier lah. But I'll include a review here if I do find it again. It feels snappier. So, for the exit, I can't really um, give you a call on how it feels, whether it's more worth it compared to the X9. Because X8 and X9, the price difference is about 20 to $40. So, I can't really give you much verdict on my on the X9 and the X8. But, if you want to, the X9 is a good option lah. It's a, it won't really go wrong, per se. So, yeah. That's good. Okay, that's for more info for you guys, right? The string I'm using is the BCY 8125. I'm not sure whether it's a G, but I'm pretty sure it's an 8125 string. Let me, let me check my. Yeah, 8125. So, basically, this is my string, uh, the BCY 8125 string. So, if you are referencing what it sounds like, yeah, that, that's how it sounds like with the 8125 string and the X30, the X9 riser. Uh, lead, my bad. So just now I said that the even though the lead poundage was 34 pound right, the effective poundage is 30.5 to 31 pound. So the reason why for that right is because I did move my limb bolt out. As you can see it's quite out right now. And there's like a lot of room to move in. Like you can see I'm like one finger one finger worth of room. So the last I measured when my because my killer bot was fully in with my old limbs and the last I measured right was about 34 to 35 34.5 around there 34.5 pounds with my clear board fully in but I'm not really sure whether that's accurate or not because during that time right about 34.5 pounds right, I wasn't able to do it really quite well so when I was holding the bow scale right on my anchor point I was shaking quite a lot so I don't know whether that affected the measurement but currently the effective poundage is 30.5 to 31 pounds right? So there's a lot of room for you to go with this limb. About four pounds each of limb to go. Now my shoulder board is fully out right now. So there's four pounds of space for you to go. So it's honestly a very for in my opinion it's quite a good transitory limb. Like if I do up pound, up pound, up pound, then you can afford to buy a pound with a higher poundage. A bit more higher poundage to work with so because they have a big quite a big range to work with. So you don't have to spend as much money and you can save up on investing for higher end limbs at a later stage of the archery journey like that's how I recommend but best if you ask your coach or club coach because they know how you perform how you, how fast you advance so best will ask for their second opinion on on like what particular pounding of limb that you should get when upgrading for when trying to get a new limb that's my general advice
That's smooth. Smooth like butter, like criminal undercover. <laughs> Next one. Feels okay. Okay, so I um, guess I'll pretty much end it off here. Salida X9 Limbs, it feels great. Great budget alternative, a decent quality budget alternative for archers, la, where who are trying to transition to a high polish. That's kind of good gift, like, that's my verdict. La. A good, affordable, transitory limbs for archers who are trying to progress to a high polish. I won't recommend shooting it like at a very high poundage. Because at a very high poundage, I'd rather you recom I'd rather you invest in a higher end limb. Like for one that's like the probably consider the Sunida X10. Because at a higher because if you were to invest a higher limb, higher end limb, right, you'll be assured that your limb won't be the weak limb in your whole archery performance uh, basically. So if you are transiting to high poundage, this will be a good buy. So far I've been shooting with it, it feels great, I've no complaints or no qualms about it. And that's pretty much all. 30 days later, I'll be uh, posting an update on my journey with this limb. See whether the white streak on the limb, whether it worsened or anything. But I highly doubt it will worsen anything because I've been shooting. Because I've been seeing that first mark ever since I first used it for our first training. And ever since then, I haven't seen any new marks or like bigger marks on the limb itself. So hopefully it won't be an issue. And yeah, that's all. If you like it, please uh, like this video and do share it around because there's honestly not a lot of resources for archers who are willing to like who are exploring new limbs or like not like popular limbs on popular riser per se. La. So I'm trying to I'm doing my effort to help you guys be more informed about options you, you have in the archery market itself. So that's all and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.